Hey guys, what is up? My name is Marco and welcome once again to the My Color Screen channel. We teach you everything that you need to know about making your Android phone look a whole lot better. So now tons and tons of people have been asking for this video tutorial. So here it is. It's the iOS 7 look on Android but with that Android flavor. So you definitely, definitely, definitely want to check out this video tutorial. Let us begin. Great guys, so here we finally have it, Android 7.0. 7.0 I'm guessing because it's the iOS 7 version mod or Android feel of how the iOS 7 is going to look and I, I can't agree more that this is going to be a fantastic looking setup for your phone. Um, I'm not going to say who the author's name is at the bottom here, I'm just going to say it very badly but he's done a fantastic job at this very setup as you can see it's a two-page setup here with a static dock your dock's got all your necessary shortcuts if you want to quickly get to your camera or your browser whatever else that you would want and that's the start off with our first page well here's our main page it's got all of our jump to icons so if you want to quickly get to your music you can quickly get to that and I must say that these icons simply look fantastic Above that, it's got a little strip there. It's got our weather information there. Looks really good. Above that, it's got our current agenda. I think it's for today. I don't have anything going on. So it'll say if you have something there. Above that, it's got your date. Really, really looks good with that awesome looking font. Swiping across, we've got some more agenda here. Is what we've got going on later on. We've got some more weather here and our weekly weather. All looks fantastic on this purpley blue wallpaper very very awesome screen if you'd like to know how to recreate this setup on your android phone let us begin with today's video tutorial okay so now before we begin this awesome setup there's just a few things that you need to know first thing off you want to check in the link in the description below for all the resources that you'll be needing such as the skins the icons whatever else that you'll be needing in order to complete this setup Next is the apps that you'll be needing. Now I'm going to be using Nova Launcher, well Nova Launcher Prime for this very setup. You're welcome to try and use Apex Holo SS Launcher, I do recommend. Um, but I'm just going for Nova Launcher for the simple fact that you can have custom docks and you don't have to just put in your own dock at, or a UCCW skin or whatever. It, you can just do that from the get-go of Nova Launcher. So I really like that. So I went with Nova and it turned out great. Next thing you definitely want to have is Super Widget Pro for all the skins that you'll be adding as you can't get the you can't do it with a free version as that that doesn't allow for custom templates. So pro version of that it is paid but it's a fantastic app. Finally you're just going to be needing a simple file explorer. I recommend ES File Explorer. I have it over where is it over I have it over here it's a fantastic free file explorer and it's perfect for navigating through all the files that you're going to be copying onto your phone so with that out of the way let's jump straight into our launcher setup great so now a few keen eyes may have noticed that i've re completely reset my nova launcher to to stock like its original settings so i'm going to be going through each one of them changing it to how it is in that Android 7 setup. If you hold down on your home screen, this will allow you to go into your settings here just by selecting that little wrench. And then from here, we'll open up our list of Nova settings, but we're gonna start off with our desktop at the top. Opening up our desktop settings, we're gonna jump right into our desktop grid. And an 11 by six seems to work best for the setup on most phones. However, if it doesn't work out too well for you, if there's too many icons or there's not enough space, try increasing or either or decreasing it and see what works best for you so next thing off you want to have your margins you want them both to be on none your width and your height margins to be on none your search bar you want that to be never you don't want to have it or you can just have it on landscape only but i always like it off you don't want to have any shadows for home screens if we select it here as you can see there's five we only be wanting two so i'm going to get rid of the ones that already have stuff on them as we're not going to be needing them anyway and it's going to only be two left and that's it that's done and then from here we just need to jump back into our menu or into our settings great so now we come to the wallpaper scrolling part of this video now this is very tricky and a lot of people get very irritated as it just simply doesn't work very well when it comes to say nova launcher so if we select it now i have it as on but sometimes it just will scroll and it just will not scroll from wallpaper to wallpaper so i'm going to come to that later with a fix on how to do that so from here can leave off infinite scroll not important however you do want to disable label icons as well as resize or widget you want to have that enabled 
bring down the advanced menu here widget overlap is a must for this very setup as otherwise you won't be able to put in all the skins and overlap when placing also doesn't hurt just to have that always on so that is your desktop done if we select back now we're going to our dock now for the dock we want to have that dock enabled as we're going to be having a different grid alignment as it would be for the home screen so we definitely want to have that enabled if we go to dock style now now this is only for the new version of nova launcher i'm not even sure if it comes with the free version but it's simply amazing what this can actually do if we select the rectangle here now we're allowed to change the color so say if we make it like a gray and then we select OK. We can now change this transparency. How cool is that? So we can actually have a transparent um, dock at the bottom. I really enjoy this new feature about um, Nova Launcher. I just really, really enjoy it. So if we select Done now, it's going to set that up. Your dock pages, you only want to have one dock page as that's all you need. Your dock icons, we do want to have five dock icons as that's how many there will be. Your margins, you can leave as none. Your dock heights, you want to go for a large for this but at the bottom you want to disable scroll indicator and disable scroll divider and then finally you want to bring down the advanced menu here and dock as overlay you also want to have that enabled so we're going to go back now that's our dock done if we go into our look and feel now we want to go into our let's see our notification bar we want that to be disabled we don't have to we don't need that one at the top there but you can always just scroll it down if you want it to be there Great, so that's your Nova Launcher settings complete. As you can see, you just got your dock icons there. You can leave them there for now, not too important. As now we're gonna be setting this awesome looking wallpaper right now. Awesome, so in order to set up this very calm looking purple wallpaper, is like I said um, earlier that there's a quick work around this. As you can see, it scrolls like this. Now I had a lot of hassle just trying to get this wallpaper to scroll almost threw my phone against the wall but it is a quick workaround and it should it should hopefully fit for your phone if we hold down on the home screen now and select our wallpapers and instead of just selecting say quick pick you're welcome to try out quick pick if it works for you then fantastic or even your gallery app however if it doesn't like in my example i had to select wallpaper wizardry it is a free app and it works out well it worked out for me very very well it, all you have to do now is select that top little button here and then you just need to find this image that you've copied onto your phone now if you select set over here at the top and we select quick leave it on scroll don't select no scroll as we want it to be scrolling now and i say stretch landscape now it's what it's going to do is basically stretch it all out but because it's a blurry screen it can't really tell that it's being squished all together so like i said that's one quick way of trying to get this wallpaper to scroll you're also welcome to try out the other features on that wallpaper wizardry this just seemed to work out the best for me so that is our wallpaper done next we're going to be working on the super widgets Great, so in order to set up these Zuper widgets, we're going to be copying them into our Zuper widget template folder. So all I've done now is navigated to my Android 7.0 tutorial that comes with all the files that you need. If I open it up again here, it's got our Zuper widgets here, which is all the different Zuper widget templates that you need to be copying onto your phone and into that specific Zuper widget folder. Now with ES File Explorer, it's very easy to do. If you just hold down on one of them, select a little image at the little icon here at the top that allows you to select all of them at once. And then you can either cut them or copy them. I'm just gonna copy them for now. If we select back now, back again, just navigate to your SD card or the main area of your phone. Let's go all the way to the top or the bottom. We're gonna go into our Zuper widget folder here. We're then gonna go into our templates. As you can see here, all the different templates that I've copied onto my phone. I just need to select paste now and then just overwrite or just paste them all in that should be all done so that's very easy to do we can just minimize that now as now we can now start adding them in great so in order to add them in very easy to do you just need to hold down on the home screen and select widgets now all you have to do now is scroll to the bottom all the way to the bottom where you'll see super widget pro like i said you need the pro otherwise it will not work now all you have to do is start adding them in size by size I do recommend starting with the, the ones going across first. I think it's they got a little bit of weather in them. I went for a 5x2 for this one simply because of the fact that when I went for the 6x2, it left a bit of a gap. So I'm just going to move it down a little bit and select the hand. From here, it's going to bring up your little options. You do want to be selecting SD card as these are the ones that you've copied onto your phone and hopefully they should be here as you can see they're all here if not make sure that you copied into them into that correct folder that super widgets and then into the templates folder so i'm going to start with everything on the left hand side here so that means that the weather middle it's going to be the weather middle second one 
So that's going to be added in now. If we just select back once it's been added, it should hopefully appear. There we go. It's been added. I'm going to hold down on it and select resize. It's going to resize it. See now it doesn't look too good, but once we make it a bit bigger like that, boom, fits into place. So that's very easy to do. You can now add the one just below it, the one that's got a bit more weather. So I'm just going to hold down, select widgets, do the exact same process now. Zupa Widget Pro. Let's go for something like a 4x4, just so you've got a little bit more leeway here. So I'm just going to tap away, tap the hand again, well the skin, select SD card once again. And now I'm going to be selecting weekly weather. So that's going to come up with my weekly weather. I really, really enjoy that. Always good to see what's going to be coming up ahead. And we just select back and... And there it is. So there it is. We can just resize it a bit more, make it better fits. Gotta make it bigger or smaller. That's a bit too high. So I'm just gonna hold down on you, select resize, get that a bit more up. And there we have it. Now you're welcome to um, send widgets forward or back just by holding down on them and selecting send to back. So whichever one you prefer. Now we're gonna be moving up a little bit. We're gonna be adding in our agenda. So exactly the same process. As you can see, this is very easy to do. Super widget is a breeze to add in different widgets. So I'm going to go for another 4x4 to see what it's going to look like there. I'm going to go back into it, select it, SD card. So the one above that little weather area, we're going to be selecting our weekly planner over here. It's going to now load that one in. And hopefully if you've got anything saved on your Google Calendar, it should now appear. So once again, you can just move it into a good looking area. Tap away and now it's one more widget we want to be adding. It's the one at the top, the one that just says your week. Let's just go all the way. This gets pretty easy to do after you do it a couple of times. I just think I went for a 4x1 there. Maybe should have been a 4x2, but we'll see how it goes. Let's just see, select an SD card. Let's just see, we want to say your week. So it's just basically text that says your week, nothing too special. And now we can just hold down on it, select resize. And Bob's your uncle, there it is. So I've just resized it a bit better just to make it a bit more wider and easier to read. So that once that's done, that's our first page, well our second page complete. I'm going to swipe across and move on to this one right here. This will be our main page, full of everything that we can get to, such as our icons, which we'll be adding in later. We still need to get through a few more Zupa widgets. I'm just going to quickly speed this process up. Like I said, all you're going to be adding is, let's just go back. It's going to be another one of these. It's going to be the big dates as well as the upcoming event Zupa widget. So I'm just going to quickly add them in. It's very easy to do. You can't really go wrong. Great. So there I've just added them all in. I used a 5x2 for this weather, the main weather one over here. The upcoming event was just a 4x3 and then I think a 4x2 for the big clock at the top. So that is all of our Zupa widgets complete. Now we can move on to the icon bit, the fun bit. Great, so in order to add and edit icons, very easy to do in Nova Launcher. You just simply hold down on the home screen and select apps. We're now going to be adding in that block of apps over there. From here, we can now select multiple as now we can start adding in multiple apps, which is definitely what we want. So now you can start selecting, say, um, apps such as your Drive, your Dropbox. Do take note that the icons provided are the only ones that are, are available. So it is a bit limited. However, say if you don't use Evernote, there is an Evernote icon. I just made it as my Google Keep or whatever. So it's not too wor worrisome. However, if it still affects you, you can go for another. You can actually buy an icon pack just to make things a lot better for you. So I'm just going to be now selecting the apps, which are ones over there, and then I can just change them accordingly. Once you've selected all the apps that you want, all you, now, all you have to do now is select add. It'll now all add them in all at the top here, and you just need to drag them accordingly to wherever else you want them onto the screen. But I'm just going to take up this little block at the bottom. So I'm just going to keep doing this for now until I've got all of them added in. Whoops, got that. Don't want that in there. And just keep going until you've added in them corresponding to this 4x3 grid we have going at the bottom here. So that's all of them added now. All we have to do now is to edit these ones as well as the ones at the bottom. Also one thing to quickly edit or change your icons at the dock, you just want to get rid of the ones that are currently available. So I'm just going to keep, if, say if I want to get rid of contacts, I don't need that. Just drag it into the X at the top, but say if I want to add my Gmail, I'm just going to select it now and then drag it. If I select it right at the bottom, it plonks right into the bottom. Just like that, very easy and simple. Now we're going to be editing each one of these icons. Very simple. We're just going to, for the ones at the block here, we're just going to hold down, select edit. Going to select the image now. Now you're welcome to use your own icon pack if you prefer. There's not a lot of people there don't agree with um, how many there are available. 
but if you're like me and you're not too concerned you just really enjoy that look you can just stick with your gallery go into your quick pick or whatever whatever gallery app that you prefer and find all these icons that have been provided for you so for the first one it was messaging i'm just going to select the one that looks like messaging i'm going to get this cropper bar i don't know why i made it small but you want it to take up the entire picture otherwise it's just going to crop that you do not want that so make sure that it's all the way touching all the edges at all the edges and select okay select okay again again and now it is done same thing let's do another one for music hold down select edit select the little play button there go into your gallery go into your image whoops go into your images and then just select the little music icon like this you just need to hold down drag the images or the, the edges across just so it takes up the entire picture once again selecting ok and then selecting the tick will now set it for you now i'm not going to bore you and do it with all of these these i'm just going to fast forward it but for the ones at the bottom now they're slightly different if we hold down and select edit select the same images but now we're going to just be selecting different sets so we're going to be so it's going to be the ones that aren't these it's going to be these clear white ones that actually look really good so for the camera one i don't know about you but i had to crop it a little bit just like this so just so it was pretty much in the middle like this so make sure that it's pretty much covering the middle you don't want it too low down as it doesn't look too good and i'm just going to select ok now select the tick and boom there it is so like i said you're going to be replicating this bottom icon look for the bottom and all of these cool looking icons here you're going to do the same thing so i'm just going to let you guys do that and then i'll catch up with you later alrighty then so there we have all of our icons added as you can see if we just tap on one of them it'll bring up whatever shortcut that you would want such as say for your camera or your music just like that so now a lot of people they might if you can't get the nova dock at the bottom have no fear you can still add it in by just selecting that super widget skin for the dock and just place it over it as you set the dock as a as an overlay in your nova settings so just keep that in mind and then finally say if you want to add some hotspots as you could call them in super widget or just jump to shortcuts when you select a super widget instead of opening up the skin say for example you want to open up the clock for this area here you can say on tap action or you can specify it per different module that you have added now we do have a complete guide to super widget to help you out a bit check in the link in the description below as that might help you along but just for now say if i want to open up the, the clock for this i'm going to select widget on tap action it's going to come up with a few i'm just going to swipe into my um, apps now and then you just definitely want to be selecting say your clock now what's going to happen is now if i select back and i want to check my what's how my times are doing you're just going to select that area and it brings up your clock pretty neat and you can always do that to each one of them so like i said i'm just going to do this a little bit quicker now if we go into our layout for this one over here and say our rich text that's got our 22 degrees if we select that now and we scroll down we can also it's also got an individual module on tap action so if i want to select the degrees there and i want to say open up a weather app such as let's see scroll down let's go let's go for iron sky so i'm just going to be selecting iron sky going back going back so now hopefully when i select the 22 degrees there there we have our weather information how cool is that always remember now say for example you tap one of these areas and it's going to bring up okay well that works it brought up my maps but some sometimes for example it might get in the way remember just to always hold down and say select center back just so you can get to all your your different shortcuts so there we have our home screen complete thank you very much guys for watching hopefully it hasn't been too long you haven't got too bored as i really enjoyed this setup i'm definitely going to keep this on for a while so thank you very much guys for watching if you really enjoyed the video please give us a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already don't forget to check out our Facebook, Google+, Twitter community, and now finally Instagram community, as we always like to help you guys out in any shape or form. So Marco here from My Color Screen, and as always, don't stop customizing.